day two of the assembly. Uh, I'm gonna work on the dust shroud um, over the night. I worked on connecting this. Uh, found the right size eyelets for this. Rated for 10 gauge, 10 AWG. If you do the math, it could, what is it? 22.2K uh, or 2200 at uh, being supplied at 220 volt is uh, 10 amp. And that's where I get the wire for the spindle. Um, 18 gauge, 18 gauge is 3.5, rated for 3.5 amp, or a total of a little over 10 amp, so should be good there. Uh, so yeah, I got this, still need to get a plug, I purchased the wrong plug for the wall, so I need to get a different one. This, I've got the wire, this is to the spindle, and then from the, from the uh, variable drive, to the breakout board. Uh, I secured the laser on top of here with the two bolts supplied. Awesome work. <coughs> still, the, still can't. I'll have to come up with a better, something a little bit more rigid. I, I believe the term is janky, but still, I, no, no criticism. Still in love with this piece of equipment. Uh, I did notice from, I, I come from a manufacturing background and had a hard time threading the, the pieces or the dust shroud on. And when I look closely, uh, see if I can show it in here. I'm not sure if it'll focus. I use the, this magnifying lens. I don't know how that'll work. Anyway, you can see the ends of these damaged a little bit. Nothing critical, uh, just a little QC material handling. So to correct the thread, find the right die, make the measurement. Uh, a lot of the stuff is metric, hex caps are metric. This happened to be 832. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't see it. Anyway, so just... Uh, Thread it on, you can feel the drag. Easy fix. It'll look good. On the back side, it threaded in very easily. There's you. So you go toward the front, it almost feels like they didn't even tap the front. Yeah, it's really tight. You can see uh, chips starting to come out. Try to capture some. Yeah, see. A little aluminum chip. I checked to confirm, make sure it was the right thread, and it was. Like I said, the backside was great. Uh, just a little QC to mention. Seems odd, both of them are like that. Almost like they didn't tap them all the way through. Quick fix. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Almost no play. During this part of the assembly, I put the two arms on that hold the uh, dust control ports, the two different dust control ports, and uh, Assembled the, the two ports and all the Here you can see trying to assemble the green one there were some interference fits with the hole So I had to up having to drill them out open them up a little bit Something I realized when I after I had set it up um, One instruction said referenced put this about an inch from the start an inch from the start. However, when you do that, you've got about an inch from the spindle, but you're about two and a half inches off with the table. And then if you're going to put a stop, you're even further away. 
a stop for your uh, material. I am going to shift it back. Um, I was thinking about four inches. I can't wait to do some cable management. I uh, have that mounted, but I would need to take it apart so I can look at it again. Uh, thanks for watching the second video in the series. I'll have the third one out for fairly shortly where I start cutting parts.